Meet Henry. Henry has hypertension, a medical term for high blood pressure. High blood pressure means the force of blood pushing through your body is too strong. It's a buildup of your body's plumbing that can cause big problems later, like a stroke or heart disease. Henry, like many others, showed no previous symptoms of high blood pressure when he was diagnosed. He certainly didn't feel any pressure. In fact, 20% of those with the disease don't know they have it. That's why hypertension is called the silent killer. Henry has always planned to enjoy retirement with his wife and see his grandkids grow up. But the disease can be dangerous if not managed properly, so Henry needs to consider his future and realize it could go a couple of different ways. He can continue on as before, or he can learn to manage his condition and lower his blood pressure. Simple choice, but lots to consider. More than half of Americans with hypertension don't have their blood pressure under control. If Henry chooses to continue on as before, ignoring his risk factors and not making any changes in his day-to-day -day living, here's what his future might look like. A trip to the emergency room where he might not make it. A victim of a heart attack or stroke. Memories never made. A life cut short. Or Henry could survive a stroke or heart attack and live with a permanent disability and chronic health problems. The memories he makes may be painful. Reminders of minor changes that could have made a difference. Happily though, Henry is making adjustments and seeing results. His blood pressure is dropping and his small changes are having a big impact. First, Henry learned his numbers. With his healthcare provider, they determined an appropriate blood pressure goal. He gets his blood pressure taken at their office and was taught how to use a home blood pressure monitor to regularly take and track readings in the comfort of his living room. Now Henry takes his blood pressure medications regularly, exactly as prescribed. His pills are in a day of the week dispenser right beside his toothbrush. Henry's wife, Eleanor, heard about a smartphone app that reminds people to take their blood pressure meds. Henry's downloaded it and set up his reminder times every day. And he's eating right. Too much salt in his diet makes his body retain water, raising blood pressure and putting a strain on his heart and kidneys. Together, Henry and Eleanor eliminated foods with too much sodium. Eleanor is seasoning their meals with herbs and spices now, so they don't sacrifice the flavor. He's also exercising and making it a family affair. 30 minutes of moderate activity a day can lower blood pressure and manage his stress. Henry is not the gym type, but he is doing more yard work and gardening with Eleanor going on bike rides with his grandkids, and parking the car at the end of the lot. His daughter even bought him some hand weights that he uses at home during bad weather. Celebrating his success is a great motivator for Henry, too. By taking his medication, eating right, and exercising more, Henry has seen his blood pressure lower to 114 over 76. This is on track with the blood pressure goal Henry set with his provider. In the past, he might have celebrated with a few drinks, but heavy drinking can damage the heart and raise blood pressure. He knows it's a limit of two drinks a day for men and one for women. For today's celebration, Henry is enjoying a fancy non-alcoholic margarita. Cheers, Henry! By lowering his blood pressure, Henry chose a lifetime of good health. He has a lot to celebrate. He'll get to see his grandkids graduate from high school and college, watch his son get married, and enjoy retirement with Eleanor and the rest of his family. You can enjoy a lifetime of good health, too. Visit MeasureUpPressureDown.com to learn how to measure, monitor, and maintain your blood pressure.